Dave. Hey. What are you doing? Oh, hi, Miss Sim. Yeah. I'm, I'm just playing basketball. Why is it so sudden? Um, well, I read basketball makes a lot of money. Are you sure? How are you all doing at home, my fellow athletes? I'm sure you're all energetic today. And we're going to have a bit of a fun with sports. And what else are we going to do? And it's actually the subject that we're going to learn today. It's Bahasa Inggeris Tingkatan 5 for Slot Menengah Atas. And my name is Hanif Sean. So today, it's so exciting that you have also seen our teacher. And I would like to welcome her, which is Miss Sim Chayan. From, she's a Ketua Panitia Bahasa Inggeris from Sekolah Menengah Jenis Kebangsaan Yoke Kwan Sekin Chan Selangor. Hello, Miss Sim. Hi. Hi, everyone. I can, I can feel your energy as well today. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, right. So, right. How, uh, so what are we going to learn together today? Um, today, we are going to learn the world of sport. The world of yes. sports. And I don't think we are the only two athletes here. We have four more joining us yes. online. Right. You're right. Yes. Yeah, so where are my friends online? Can you wave at us here? Oh, there you go. So I'm quite sure they're all excited to learn and they are all going to get ready to be a bit more energetic later. If you can introduce them, Miss Sim. All right, okay. So we have uh, Hang Zixiang here. Can you wave to us? Yeah, all right. And then we have uh, the Yuan Bing. Yuan Bing, can you wave to us? All right. And then we have uh, Tai Nian An. And then we have Pua Kai Sin. Kai Sin? Yes. All right. All right. So there are the four uh, pupils joining us online. And shall we start our lesson today, Miss Sin? Right, sure. Great. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're going to start with this title, Show Me the Money. Okay. If you're in your mind, you might think that, okay, so for this chapter, okay, we will talk a lot about money, right? So this is actually from the English language form 5. And today we're going to focus on man skill reading and with the sub skill speaking, right? So let's move on and look at this. So it is actually in your textbook. If you have your textbook now, okay, you can turn to page 31. It is uh, unit 3, the world of sport. Okay, so our team today is health and environment, and with the learning object, uh, learning standards, sorry, it is read a variety of suitable print and digital text to investigate and analyze global issues, and another one use independently a range of familiar print and digital resources and some unfamiliar resources to check meaning and extend understanding. Okay, for our language focus, we are going to focus on words or phrases related to sports, sponsorships, and money. Okay, and next, okay, our learning objective first, read to analyze. We have analyzed a global issue by referring to at least one supporting detail in a text. Second, check for meaning. We are going to use at least one available resource to check for the meaning of the different types of payments. Okay, so this is the reference that I say you can refer to your Form 5 textbook, English Downloads, on page 31 until page 33. All right? Great. Okay, so let's, uh, let's test your knowledge on sport. So how much do you know about sport? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. We have these four pictures here. Okay, so what kind of sports do they play? Okay, what kind of sports do you think they play? We have Tiger Woods here, and then we have Cristiano Ronaldo, we have Ileana Isambeva, and we have Novak Djokovic, right? Okay, and uh, I would also like to ask my pupils here yes. and try to like uh, see whether they, un uh, they know what they play or not. Right. Okay, so maybe we can ask someone to answer for the first one. Is okay. okay, so who would like, maybe we can see a raise of hands. Who would like to tell us what does Tiger Woods play? Yeah, anyone? Do I see any raise of hands? Yeah. Ah, yeah. we see Zichang. one. All right, okay. Yes, this young? Uh, Tiger Woods play golf. Mm -hmm. Why do you think it's so? A prof mm -hmm. from I have Sorry? seen him. I think he got. 
cannot hear you. Cannot really hear you. Okay. Right? Can you put your mic closer to your mouth? Yes. Okay. There you go. Yeah, you try again. Uh, Tiger Woods play golf. Can you hear? Yes, yes, yes. That's right. Is that the right answer, Miss? <coughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Can, uh, why is it so? How do uh, you know that? Mm -hmm. I've since I've participated in many golf golf tournaments and won a lot of medals for the country. All right. Wow. Okay. Then Let's you must see. Be a golf yes. Fan. Yeah. Oh, All right. Yes. Okay. How about the second one? Uh, anyone? All right. Okay. Nin, uh, Ninan. I think he's a football player. Mm -hmm. Why is it so? Why do you think that? He is very famous. I saw him from many advertisements. All oh, right. Oh, okay. So she saw Cristiano Ronaldo on advertisements. Let's see whether he is a football player or not. Yeah, right. You're right. Okay. How about the third one? Anyone would like to try here? Kaisin? Okay, ah. Kaisin. I think she is a pole vaulting player uh -huh. because I I used to hear her name from my friend. Yeah, so I know her. Oh, okay. Interesting. All right. Yes, correct. And the last one is uh, tennis. Yeah. Ah, uh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This one is tennis. Okay. From uh, Novak uh, Djokovic, he is a great tennis player. All right. Okay. So let's move on to the pre-reading part, where there is one question that I would like to ask all of you. Okay. Right. So let's see the questions. What makes a job important? Okay. In your opinions, okay. What do you think that makes a job important? Is it because of the value to society? Or is it because of the earnings, the status, or uh, personal growth? Okay, so which one do you think makes the job important? And you have to tell me why. Okay, what is the reason behind it? Okay, so we can start by asking our people here. Yeah, um, let's have Zixiang. Zixiang, can you explain, uh, tell us first what makes a job important and then you expand a little bit? Zixiang? Uh, yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. From my point of view, personal growth is what makes a job essential to a person. Mm -hmm. By having a job, a person can learn new skills, develop new skills, uh, learn new things, develop new skills, and help himself to be aware of his abilities, strengths, and weaknesses. All right. Okay. For Ji Chang, he thinks that uh, personal growth is very important, right? Yes, that okay. is very important. Right. And I think that was a very good answer as well, isn't it, Miss Sim? Yeah. So wow, we're going to take a short break actually okay. right now. And I think my friends at home, you can continue to ponder what makes a job important. Think about it. Discuss with your friends and family, and continue to stay tuned with us on Didate TV KPM. Welcome back on Slot Menengah Atas and today we're learning Bahasa Inggris but why am I feeling so sporty? Why am I playing so many sports here? Of course, we're playing a bit of sports to relate with what we're learning today and of course with me is Miss Sim Hi. and Miss yeah. Sim, I think we also have our four friends online learning together right. and the topic that we're learning is show me the money. Ha, huh? interesting. Shall we continue with our lesson, Miss Sim? Yeah, sure. Okay, so um, if you have your Form 5 textbook with you right now, okay, you can turn on to page 32 and 33. You will see a big title there, Show Me The Money. Okay, so you are going to wondering why, okay, uh, what is it all about the money? Okay, so let's look at the task first. You have your exercise tree here. Read the articles. Okay, so quickly read the article to find the following information. We have eight questions here. 
All right, so you need to find out which paragraph actually mentions about each question. All right, okay. So if you look at um, your textbook, all right, you look at the questions. For each questions, I want you to quickly scan through. Okay, just scan through. You don't really have to uh, really look into it, like truly understand it. You just have to scan through first. Just get a mindset, like uh, what are you going to learn in that paragraph? Okay, later we are going to look at the paragraphs and we are going to know what is it in each paragraph. Okay. So after this, let's uh, move on to the paragraph. You're going to see four paragraphs here. We have paragraph A, paragraph B, paragraph C, and paragraph D, right? Okay, so for each paragraph, let's say for paragraph A, okay, you will see this, right, in your textbook. And then we have paragraph B, okay? So uh, I believe that you can read it by yourself at home, right? And uh, for paragraph C, maybe we can ask our friends here, to read it for us, okay? So, um, I'm going to select two people here to read this paragraph for us and maybe you can also read along with them, yeah? Okay, so let's have anyone would like to try the first part first. Anyone would like to try here? Who Guys? would like to volunteer? Okay, ah. Yuan Bing. Okay, Great. yeah, you may start first. Okay, you can start now. So, there isn't... No doubt mm -hmm. that Ronaldo and Woods are talented athletes, but it's an athlete with more than a doctor, teacher or social worker, for example. Some people argue that the top players should earn high salaries because they train hard to become the best in their sport. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, various other professions help to make our world a better place. Alright, thank you Yuan Bing. Okay? Yeah. So if you listen to Yuan Bing just now, you can see that he has his pronunciations with the tones, right, and the tunes there. That it's not true. like very monotonous, right? So this is what we want, right, to really like more naturally. Okay, and next, we would like to select a girl, like maybe Kaisin, can you help to read for us? Yes? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please continue. It will start from teachers uh, educate young people. Kaisin? Teachers educate young people and their work produce the citizen of tomorrow. Social workers help people who are facing difficult challenges in life. The president of the USA makes decisions that affect not only his own country, but the whole world. These people earn far less than the average professional elite despite their important contributions. All right, thank you, all right. I like her style, like slow and steady, right? That is true. Okay, all right, next. Let's move on to paragraph D, okay? Can we have Zicheng? Yes, teacher. Yes, please read the first part. Zicheng, you may start now. Basically, at least like actors and singers provide entertainment. Mm -hmm. Based on how much money these people make, it seems that we value entertainers more than professionals that actually help people. And although an athlete job is physically demanding, athletes do, do not play as important as, a, as important a role in our society as their salaries indicate. Alright, thank you Zijiang. And can we have Nianan? To continue with that? Yes. Mm -hmm. We need to reconsider what is truly important and get rid of few different in income earned by different professionals. If we can do that, we can create society where everyone feels valued and appreciated for what they do. All right, thank you, Nenan. All right. So, this is for paragraph D. Now let's move on. Okay, so this is uh, what we call multiple matching tasks, all right? If you want to get a better understanding of the paragraphs, so first you have to quickly scan through and read through each paragraph, and then you have to identify what is the main contents or the main points in each paragraph. And you can also underline the keywords to help you understand uh, each paragraph, right? Okay, so for example, just now we know that paragraph A, if you look go back to paragraph A, you know that paragraph A talks about money in football, okay? So if we go back to the paragraph A, we know that it talks about money in football and which question can it directly answer? If you look at the questions, okay, 
It is questions two. Let's see the questions here, right? It's questions two. Explain how football players earn their money. Okay, so it has something to do with the money. It has something to do with the football. So it's actually questions two. So when you link it like that, you know that questions two, the answer is actually paragraph eight. Yeah, this right. is how you get the answer. All right? All right, so let's uh, get started with the exercise. Right. Let's see uh, whether the students can also get the answer from uh, from the paragraphs. Okay. So here I have prepared for you is actually the the box here. If you see the box here, it's actually the hints for you to find out the keywords or the content so that you will know that okay which question actually related to paragraph A. Yeah. And then if you look at paragraph B, I also have two boxes for you. Okay. Paragraph C, I have these two big boxes. And the last one, paragraph D, okay, pupils, you can also see that there are two red boxes here. Okay? Right. Yeah. So let's move on to the questions. All right, for questions number one, just so we know that questions number two is eight, right? How about question number one? Mentions how much money a famous company makes. So here it mentions about a famous company. So you have to go back to the paragraph, okay? You have to go back to this paragraph and check which paragraph talking about famous company. Right, and it talks about how much that earns. Okay, maybe you can ask our student, uh, our pupils here. Okay, see whether they know the answers or not. All right. Sure. So, anyone would like to answer the first questions? Yuan Bing. Okay, Yuan Bing. So, which paragraph mentions how much money a famous company makes? I think the answer is from paragraph B. Paragraph B. Okay. B. Why? B. 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 Okay. Boy. Yeah. Why? So you can see at the last sentence, mm -hmm. it mentions that there is a famous company or a brand mm -hmm. which makes $25 billion in sales a year. So my answer is paragraph B. Alright, it's a huge amount of money, is it? Okay, that mentions about that. Yeah, alright, okay. Yes. And then let's go back to the questions. Okay, now we know question number one is B. Question number two, okay, we go back again. Just now mentions about the football, how much they earn, okay? Right. So, yeah, the answer is A. There's a All lot right. of money in football there. Right? You're right, <laughs> okay, there's a lot there. All right, and then now let's check for questions number three. All right, question number three. Is there anyone would like to try here? Pupils? Do we have any maybe, volunteer? Yeah, or maybe, oh, Ji Chiang, right. okay? Yes. What do you think for questions number three? Uh, Describe. I think the is yeah. Paragraph. Sorry, again? The answer is? Um, I guess the answer is from paragraph C. Paragraph C. Okay, let's go back to paragraph C. Why? From where you know that is paragraph C? From which uh, line? In paragraph C for mm -hmm. the first part. Uh, some people argue that the top players should earn high salaries because they train hard to become the best in their sport. So uh -huh. I guess this Okay, three. let's okay, let's go back, yeah. If you look at uh, question number three, it describes jobs people do that help the world. Right? If you go back, yes, it's also in paragraph C, but it's actually in this box, okay, the second box. You will see that various other professions help to make our world a battle place. So there is the keyword there. Okay, Ji Chang? All right. Okay. Thank you for the good try. All right. Next, let's move on. Um, questions number four. All right. Suggest that sports just give us some fun. Okay. Mm, hmm. Which paragraph? Is just that give from? us some fun. You know. Okay. So, which paragraph do you think it is the uh, is the paragraph for these questions, guys? Anyone would like to try this? Maybe the girls. All right. Okay. Nianan. I think the answer is from paragraph B. Mm. B boy, right? B for boy. Donkey. Or donkey. donkey right. right. Okay, D. Okay, why? Because the first boss have mentioned the mm -hmm. actor and the singer provide entertainment. Alright, okay. So it mentions that basically athletes like actors and singers, okay, they provide entertainment. So yeah, hmm. okay. That is interesting. Hmm. That is from his perspective, right? right? From the writer perspective. Okay, let's move on and see question number five. Mentions an athlete whose salary is higher than his sponsorship dues. Wow, oh. I would like to know who this is. Yeah, okay. So which paragraph mentions about that? Anyone would like to try here? Yuan Bing. Okay, Yuan Bing. So I think the answer is from par paragraph A. 
Paragraph A. Okay, let's go back to paragraph A. Okay, mm. from which part? So it mentions that there is an athlete mm -hmm. who earned around seventeen million pounds in salary, and it is greater than mm -hmm. the money he earns from advertising and sponsorship deals, which is sixteen million pounds. All right, great. Yes, that is uh, where the clue that you can find. Yeah, yep. that's right. a good amount of money there. Right. <laughs> hmm. Okay. And next, let's see uh, question number six. Okay, question number six says that top athletes, okay, deserve their high incomes. Okay, so anyone would like to try on these questions? Which paragraph do you think? Ji Chiang? Okay, Ji Chiang? Um, I think the answer is paragraph C. Paragraph C? Okay, let's go back to paragraph C. Okay, from which part? Uh, from the first part. Mm -hmm. Some people argue that the top players should earn hard salaries because they train hard to become the best in their sport. Oh yes, so this is the correct one, right? Alright, because they train hard for it, so they deserve a high income. Okay, good. How about number seven? Number seven talks about money athletes earn only when they win. Okay, mm. can, we, can we have someone else? That, okay, Kai Sin, yes. What do you think? Which paragraph is this? Uh, I think the answer is from paragraph boy. Paragraph boy? Paragraph B? <laughs> okay. okay. Paragraph B All right. boy. Okay. I was yes. thinking which paragraph is yes. she talking about? Okay, so why? Which line? Mm, I saw... Talks about the money at this turn. Mm -hmm. Yes? The first box. Okay. Because it say it, it mentioned that earn prize money when they win the tournament tur tournaments and then it's also said about ah uh, yeah yes all right mm. thank you prize yes money. correct it mentions about prize money right they earn prize money okay so when we come back to the questions here all right uh, it talks about they earn only when they win okay and the last questions states that professionals should earn similar incomes here the keywords okay are similar income so which paragraph do you think talks about similar incomes okay guys anyone would like to try okay Nianan, which paragraph i think it's the paragraph d d okay let's go back okay why which line the sentence say that the second box mm -hmm. they say that want to get rid of the huge different in income earned by different professionals. Yes, correct. It is stated that get rid of the huge difference in between them. Yes, you are right. Okay. Yes. So now let's review the answer. Okay. So you can double check your answers here and make sure you get the correct answers. There you yes. go. I think well done to our pupils here. Yeah, Most right. of them, well, actually, they have answered uh, almost 100% accurately there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so well done to all of you. And I'm sure my friends at home as well, you have also tried your best reading all the paragraphs and answered the questions very well. So we're going to take a short break. While you take a short break, I will continue to practice my badminton uh, skill, <laughs> if that's what I can call it, if that's what I have, all right? So do not go anywhere. Stay tuned with us on Didate TV KPM. I'm sweating so much. I was keeping while we're having the break. And welcome back to on Didate TV KPM. Now we're actually learning Bahasa Inggeris Tingkatan 5 in our Menengah Atas slot. And just a bit of a do you know facts here? Do you know that skipping actually burns more energy than running? It's also 
a bit more safe on your knees. And of course, today with me is Miss Sim from S uh, Sekolah Jenis Kebangsaan Yok Kuan Sekin Chan Selangor. And Miss Sim, why do we feel so energetic today? Is it because our topic of about show me the money and we're doing a lot of this sporting activities Yeah, that gives us this enthusiasm? Right, okay. Um, because maybe we know that actually if you are involved in sport, especially the professionals athletes, it actually earns a lot of money. A so lot maybe of money. you may wonder like, how are they actually get paid, right? From where that they get their payments, okay? So now we are going to talk about five different types of payments that they may receive. Okay, let's have the first one. Okay, if you look at the first one here, we have appearance fee, right? Okay, appearance fee. The second one, we have prize money. And then we have salary. We have sponsorship deal. And the last one, fifth one, we have transfer fee. Okay, you may wondering what are those? Okay, what are those things like? It seems like those unfamiliar words for you. Um, you do not really understand the meaning for each payment. Okay, you're wondering how are they actually get these payments. So, they are actually possible resources for you to check for the meanings yeah okay so uh, maybe you can ask our pupils here as well like how right. do they actually uh, search for the meanings of the unfamiliar words hmm. when they are doing their homework you know when they have their lessons online uh, or in uh, at home okay so what are the possible print uh, printed or digital resources they may find okay can we have uh, Niana? Niana, can you share with us Yes, I mm -hmm. always use the thesaurus to find the meanings. Thesaurus? Very okay. good choice. Yeah, thesaurus, dictionary, like. Okay, how about uh, Kaisin, right? What do you think? Uh, what kind of resources uh, you will use? The resources I will use is dictionary. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Other than dictionary? Mm, not else. <laughs> okay. So you just focus on this dictionary, is it? Dictionary so you use mainly yeah, dictionary. <laughs> okay, it can be, right? Alright, how about Zi Chang? Uh, I have the same opinion with Kai Xin. Sorry? I also use dictionary. Dictionary. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. How about Yuan Bing? So for me, when I face some unfamiliar scientific terms like photosynthesis, uh -huh. I will try to look up them on online encyclopedia because it provides more detailed explanation compared to hmm. normal dictionary. Yeah, That's a good okay, point. it's a good point, right? Yes, definitely. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, we have dictionary, like what most of them say that is using dictionary, right? And then we have thesaurus. We have, uh, we also have search engines that will help you, right, to get your answers. We also have online dictionary apps, and then yeah, and then we have some. Some of them we use translator, right? That is right. Translator. Okay, so. Let's go and check for uh, each of these payments in your textbook as well. Okay, there is an exercise that asks you to select which type of the payments is for this, uh, the definitions here. They provide the definitions for you and they want you to choose the type of uh, payments. Okay, so let's uh, look at the first one. The first one is talking about the money that is paid to the runners up and winners of sports event. Mm. And the second one, Okay, money that is paid by one team to another team for a professional player. The third one, payment for wearing a company clothing and using their equipment or wearing their logo on clothing. Okay, and we have the fourth question, all right, which is the money that is paid to an athlete to take part in an event and make it more popular. And the fifth question, we have payment for playing regularly in a team such as football or basketball team. Okay, so you can actually pay attention to the keywords here. For example, like the first one, we have the runner-ups and the winners. The second one, we have from one team to another team. The third one, we have wearing companies clothing, right? Wearing their logos and then uh, Oops. <laughs> oh, oopsie. oopsie. Oops. Oh, it's a bonus for them. Okay, all right. Okay. I, I don't and think then, they saw it, but we can ask that again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then we have this money that is paid to an athlete to take part in an event and make it more popular. So the, here is an event, right, in public. And then the last one is uh, playing regularly. Okay, it's what they do for it. 
Okay, so after that, yeah, we'll come back to this question again. Uh, I like um, all that distraction and yes. they say it's back on the first question. <laughs> I see question. whether they still remember, right? Yes. Okay, so, yeah, right, it's okay. So for the first one just now, since it's already reviewed the answers, right? Let's just go for it. Um, we'll just go for this. Where is it? Okay. Okay. Let me just go this way. It means the ah, best up. There yeah. You go. Okay, let's go. All right. So the first one is prize money, right? It is paid to the runners up. Like what I say, like they get it by winning, they get the prize, then only they will get the money. So it is actually the money paid to the runners up and winners. Okay? Right. And how about the second one? Would anyone would like to try here? Hmm. Okay, Nianan. Yes. I think the answer is transfer fee. Transfer fee. Okay, why do you think so? Because the money is transferred from one team to another team. Alright, okay. If this is your understanding, let's check. Yes, the answer is transfer, transfer fee. fee. Well okay. Done. Yep. And how about payment for wearing a company clothing? What is this? Kaisin, would you like to try on this, Kaisin? Um, teacher, I don't so sure the answer. Maybe it's appearance fee. Appearance fee. Are you sure it's appearance fee? Okay. If you check here, okay, um, it will. They, if you look at the company's clothing and wearing their logo on the clothing, right, it's actually a deal that they have to wear their clothes. Okay, wear their logo on their clothes, and then they promote it. Okay, and then they will get the sponsor. So. Again, would you like to try again? What is the answer for this? I'm sure you can do this. I could pick up some keywords there from what yeah. Sim just said. What is the answer? I think the answer is sponsorship deals. Yes, the answer is sponsorship deal. Correct, okay? Because it's like you get a sponsor and then you help them to promote, right? It is a deal in between them. Well done. Okay, well done. good. All right, next. How about the money that is paid to an athlete to take part in an event, okay, in public especially? All right, anyone would like to try this? Jishyang? Okay, Jishyang, what is this? What is the answer? Um, I guess the answer is appearance fee. Sorry? The answer is? Then, Louder, please? Appearance fee. Appearance, appearance fee. fee. Okay, why is it so? Uh, in the sentence, it mentions that an athlete takes part in an event and makes mm -hmm. it more popular. Mm -hmm. And this means that the athlete has to show up and appear at that mm -hmm. event and to boost up the ambience of the event. All Therefore, right. I think money paid to the athlete is appearance fee. Alright, okay, good. Yeah, the answer is actually appearance fee. Yes, correct. How about the last one? Yuan Bing? What is this? Yes. So I think the answer is salary. Okay. So mm -hmm. like normal workers, mm -hmm. um, at least need to work also because and uh, sorry because and uh, their work is training, so they have to train train from time to time, and salary is paid to them as a fruit of labor. All right. Good. Okay. So Very the good answer is salary. Yes. Okay. Good. All right. So let's uh, wrap up and see for uh, prize money is actually won in the competition as a prize. All right. And then if we have appearance fee, it means to give uh, to someone famous for his appearance in public. And then for salary is actually given by an employer to an employee by uh, to his employee, right? And then if we have this sponsorship deal, it means that it's an agreement, an agri uh, agreement or a deal that made for a financial support or promotions. And the last part is the transfer fee, okay, which is paid to get the transfer of a player from other sport club. Okay. Right. So yeah. those are the five types of payments that athletes can get, I believe. Right. Right. So we're going to take a short break, but I will continue to practice skipping because I hope to be earning some money from skipping, okay? And you should continue practicing your sports as well, but continue to stay tuned with us on Didet TV KPM.
TV KPM. Ah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So continue to play with your frisbee there. So I played a bit of frisbee while we had our break. And of course, you are back with us on DDAT TV KPM. Now we're having the Menengah Atas slot and we're learning Bahasa Inggeris, Tingkatan Lima. And our topic today is very interesting. It's very sports related. And it's called Show Me The Money. And of course, I have with me Miss Sim, who yeah. has been showing me lots of slides on money right now, Miss okay. Sim. Okay, so let's yeah. just continue with our lesson. Yeah. Right, so now it's almost the end of our lessons. So just now we talk about athletes, like right? how much money they earn. So maybe you were wondering like, uh, how about the other career, right? The other jobs, like uh, how much they earn actually. So I have a questions for you here, right? I would like to know your opinions on this. So who should get the highest pay, okay? So in your mind, okay, let's say we have these five uh, jobs here. Okay, I would like you to rank them from one until five. Um, one is the one that should get the highest pay, and uh, five is of course the least one. And I would like you to tell me, like, okay, maybe in your uh, in your uh, ideas, in your thoughts, there. Okay, you also think that uh, the reason behind it, why, why do you choose that person to be the uh, the one that get the highest pay, okay? So, I would also like to hear from my pupils here, okay, sure. what they think about it. Who do they think that should get the highest pay and why? Okay? Right. So, maybe we'll like uh, Yuan Bing. Yuan Bing, can you share with us first? Who do you think should get yes, the teacher. highest pay? Yeah. So, for me, I think artists should get the highest pay. Artists? Artists should get highest pay. Okay, why? It is because not everyone is creative, but an artist should be creative enough to create something that can, you know, blow our mind and trigger our eagerness to buy their masterpieces. All it's right. It's a very interesting yeah, answer. Yeah, right, because he says that not everyone is like creative, right? Yes. Enough to create the masterpiece. Okay. Yeah, it's acceptable. Actually, for this, there is no right or wrong answer. It's just that, um, let's say if during your speaking test, when your teacher asks you about certain questions like this, okay, you just have to provide your answer with a supporting detail, which means with a reason. Okay, that uh, why do you think that would be your answer? Okay, so next let's listen. Uh, let's hear from Nianan. Nianan, yes. who, yeah, in who do you opinion, think should get? Yes, in my opinion, athletes should get the highest pay. Mm -hmm. This is because mm -hmm. most of the athletes start their training at a very young age. Okay, they use all of their time to participate the tournament mm -hmm. and training. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, they may get injured during the games mm -hmm. and it may cost a price in their life. Mm, I see. That's interesting. Yeah, okay. Because uh, for her, maybe she thinks that they're trans uh, since very young. So it actually, like, they uh, have spent so much time in it. Yeah, it could be. They dedicated their lives to training. Yes, right? Okay, next. Let's, uh, let's listen to Zichang. Zichang, what do you think? Who should get the highest pay? Um, from my perspective, mm -hmm. a doctor should get the highest pay. Doctor? Okay, why? Undeniably, a doctor helps a patient to get relief of their pain mm -hmm. and he or she has to handle with thousands of lives. Mm. Being a doctor is not an easy task. It requires good skills and a doctor has to face lots of stress handling with different patient problems. Mm. Um, Alright. That's, all. mm -hmm. that's okay. interesting. Yeah. You say like save thousands of lives. Yeah, that is true. And the last one, let's have uh, Kaisin. Yeah, what is in your mind now? Who should get the highest pay? In my point of view, mm -hmm. I think that pilot should get the highest pay. Pilot? Okay, why? It is because um, we know that the job of a pilot is very dangerous and risky. Mm -hmm. So they may have an accident anytime and they need to pay full attention when doing their job. Therefore, I think a risky job should have have a higher pay compared to the other job. All right, yeah, okay, I see her point. Yeah, it's right. It's a risky job. Yes, there's a high risk for them. That okay, all right, cool. Miss Sim, if I could yes. answer as well. Oh, yeah. 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 Who should you think should get the highest pay? I would definitely say teachers. Teacher? Well, my mother was a lecturer. <laughs> okay. You're a teacher. Yes. And if I can add my point, 
It's because the society depends on you to educate us. Wow. So hmm. from that education, it would go to you could become a pilot, you could become hmm. perhaps an artist, you could also become a doctor. I so like teachers, that. So teachers would start the foundation of education. Right. Hmm, I should ask for a higher pay then. <laughs> Okay. All right. Let's sum up, right? Okay. So what we have learned today. Okay. So the first one we talk about multiple matching tasks, right? Okay. So you just have to quickly read through, summarize each ones before you answer the questions for each paragraph, right? And then you underline the keywords. Especially, it's very important when you uh, when you read the questions. Okay. Straight away, you get the keywords from that questions, and then you match it with the paragraph that mentions about those keywords. Sometimes they may not have the same words, but with the similar meanings, okay, it also uh, will be the same thing, right? Okay, and then for the, uh, the five types of payment for an athlete, right, we have appearance fee, appearance in public, okay, we have salary paid by a boss, right, uh, an employer, and then we have transfer fee, that, that means we get a member from other clubs, we have sponsorship deal, promote something sponsored and the last one we have prize money uh, which we get it by winning okay so before we end the lessons i would also like to know uh, what okay what have my uh, pupils here have learned from today's lessons okay so can we start with the first one here hang zixiang zixiang what have you learned today um, can you speak um, louder? I have, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Yeah. I have gained more knowledge about an athlete's earning, mm -hmm. and I get to know that an athlete not only earns money from prize money and salary, mm -hmm. but also from appearance, sponsorship deals, and transfer fee. Okay. Uh, next, Kaisin. Uh, actually, I have gained a lot from this lesson. Mm -hmm. It is because I get to know many famous elite and mm -hmm. I have learned various types of payment received by an elite. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, I also get to know that there are also many other resources are there for us to check the meaning of an unfamiliar word. Yes, good. Thank you, Kaisin. Yes, not only that we learn about the athletes, the payments, we also learn, okay, uh, what are the possible available uh, resources for us to check for the meanings of unfamiliar words. Okay, uh, next, let's have Yuan Bing. What have you learned today? Yuan Bing, yes? So, today's lesson is definitely an eye opener. Mm -hmm. Because I get to know more about sport. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, I know that an athlete can actually be extremely wealthy because mm. they can earn money in so many ways, wow. like transfer fee, yes. sponsorship deals, and salary. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And last one, Nianan, what have you learned from today's lesson? Today's lesson has increased my knowledge. I learned that athletes has a higher income than I expected. Mm -hmm. I also learned in order to understand each paragraph, mm. we need to find out the keyword. Mm. Oh, that's okay, very key. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Nianan. Right? Yes, and I think that's brilliant for all our four pupils. And of course, Miss Sim, tell us, how do you rate their whole performance during our show? Okay, um, I think they uh, they have done a good job, right? It's definitely a great performance today, yeah? Okay, and uh, they actually pay attention, only that maybe they get a little bit confused uh, where to find the answer, but after some explanations, I believe that they can find the correct answers, yeah? For the speaking part, I think like they have done a splendid job, right? Because each of them can give me um, reasonable answers, okay, with the supporting detail and uh, they can explain their own points of view. That is very important, especially in speaking tests. You need to give a reason why you think so. That is yeah. true, that is true. And I think 
Do I see smiles on their faces? I think your, your, your teacher just gave you a huge compliment there. Give yourself a huge hand. There you go. Well done, everyone. Well done. And of course, I'm quite sure our friends here, my pe uh, our pupils here, are very curious to know more mm -hmm. where they could study. I'm sure our friends at home as well are curious. Where can they refer to if they would like to know more? To know more about? About uh, the lesson today. Oh, okay. They definitely, they can refer back to their textbook on page 31 until 33. Okay, yes. and definitely they could also look at uh, Sumerku, I believe, yes. which you could see yes. the link on your screen right now. So check out the link, click on it and find out more and learn more. And with that, definitely we would like to thank our teacher today, Ms. Mm -hmm. Sim Chayan, mm -hmm. who is the Ketua Panitia Bahasa Inggris from Sekolah Menengah Jenis Kebangsaan Yoke Kwan Sekin Chan Selangor. And of course, thank you to our four brilliant students online, or brilliant people yes. today online. Well done to each and every one of you. And of course, to my friends at home, I think the lessons that we learned today are extremely valuable. It's not just about the money, but when you think about your career path, think about how much you add value into the society, mm -hmm. think about your personal growth, and of course, money is definitely important. And my name is Hanif Sean. I hope to see you all again. Thank you so much for uh, viewing us today, and see you again. Bye, guys.